When I was 37, I went to my high school reunion. I flew into the nearest airport and rented a car. The distance was about 35 miles through a very rural and almost abandoned part of the country. About three miles outside of town, I see someone on the side of the road flagging me down. It turned out it was one of the guys I had attended school with. Jim gets in the car and we start talking. I had not seen him in 20 years, but he still looked the same, maybe a little older. We get to town and I ask him if he wants to come to the VFW and have a drink. He says, no, just take me home. Jim's parents had lived only a few blocks from my grandmother's house and I turned in that direction, but he said to take him to the outskirts of town. There was a mobile home park out there and I figured that is where he lived. When he reached the end of the turnoff, he said, just drop me here. It was good to see you again and he walks off into the night. I go to the VFW, met some of my old classmates, we start to talk. As we are talking about who is coming to the reunion, I mentioned that I just picked up Jim three miles east of town and had dropped him off. Everyone gets quiet. Even the guy singing karaoke stops and lays down the mic. A cousin goes white as a new t-shirt. Barb, Jim died on that curve eight years ago, rolled his car. We were all at his funeral, I was told. I started to feel really dizzy and I went out to the car to take some breaths. There on the seat is the local newspaper, printed eight years previously, containing Jim's obituary. I still have the paper. Thanks for making our way through the video. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button and give me your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, until next time.